Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day. Um, I am currently 30 weeks pregnant, so it's maybe a little bit different than what I would normally eat um, based on like my cravings and what I feel like and yeah just kind of how hungry i am i also want to mention that i do work out five to six days a week so um, i keep my metabolism you know really high and i am super active we go for walks really often and all of that so just keep that in mind as far as like calories if you count calories i do not count calories i eat when i'm hungry and i eat until i'm full i kind of go by the rule 70 30 or 80 20 would be like my ideal but i think realistically i probably eat 70 percent healthy food and then 30 percent like meh decent food or 20% decent food 10% like junk food right, quickly before we jump into the video I did want to talk about this t-shirt that I'm wearing just because I feel like I'm gonna get questions on it and I have another one to show you um, but this t-shirt is by thread tank and it says support wildlife raise kids it is so cute so soft I'm obsessed so they recently just came out with their motherhood collection. I've worked with them a ton in the past and I always love my t-shirts that I get from them. I have like a huge collection now, but I have to say that this collection is my absolute favorite style wise, quote wise, um, just everything about them. And maybe it's because I'm a mom. I don't know. I just think they're so cute. So yeah, this is the one I'm wearing today. Um, this is a size medium. Again, I'm 30 weeks pregnant, so I wanted it oversized. I think you would definitely order your regular size if you just want kind of like that loose fit t-shirt. If you want it really oversized, order a size up because I almost wish that I had gone with a large just so it was like really big and baggy. But yeah, this is a medium. I'm normally a small, so this is kind of how... It fits sorry I'm on the couch this wasn't the best decision but so this is what it looks like as you guys can see it comes down yeah I just love this t-shirt this one is probably my favorite of the two that they sent me this is the other one it says raising kind humans I love this like I'm seriously just obsessed their t-shirts are so soft so lightweight they're perfect if you want to do like a front tuck um, cause they're nice and they're just like that perfect weight. Like you can just tell, um, you could also tie them in a knot or whatever you want to do. I just wanted to mention these and I feel like they would be a really, really good mother's day gift. So they are providing the code mom 15 to get 15% off. So if you are interested in any of these t-shirts or checking out what other ones that they have, definitely take note of that coupon so you can get some money off. They have a ton of different quotes and then you can pick each quote or like graphic in whatever color you want so they usually have like three or four different colors that you can choose from sometimes they have more yeah I knew I would get questions on my t-shirt so I wanted to mention that really quick but without further ado if you're interested in seeing what I eat in a day then just keep watching okay so our day starts pretty early right around 5 45 that is generally when Knox wakes up or 6 o'clock so I start my breakfast and coffee around 6.30 usually. Um, this is the creamer I've been using recently. I usually don't use creamer in my coffee at all, but when I'm pregnant, I always crave just a nice, yummy, like sweet coffee in the morning. So that's the creamer I have been using, and then I'm just having some coconut iced coffee that I had put in the fridge, so it was nice and cool. And I'm starting on my water as well. This water bottle is from jane.com. I will link their site down below. I love it, so it really keeps me on track for the day and keeps me hydrated and reminds me to drink my water. For breakfast, I usually have eggs with something on the side, um, and I usually just put in whatever veggies we have. So today it was just tomatoes, a lot of times it's spinach or pepper, um, like I said, just kind of whatever we have, and then I season it up with salt and pepper. And I like to let my eggs cook for a little bit before I throw my veggies in. So while those are cooking, I'm also making a multi-grain English muffin, toasting that up, and then throwing my tomatoes in, and then I like to kind of stir my eggs around. They're like messy scrambled eggs. I don't know, it's weird. This is how Kyle always makes his eggs, and they are literally the best. So I've learned from him, <laughs> that's just how we like to make our eggs. And then I just decided to do peanut butter on my English muffin today, and that is my breakfast. So after breakfast, I usually clean, do the dishes, do some laundry, I get my 30 minute workout in, and then we go outside for about an hour. So when we come in around 9.30, I like to take my Vita 5 vitamin C gummies, especially right now, it's just important to keep our immune systems nice and strong. Um, I'm also squeezing half a lemon in and adding in some of this Palm Wonderful. I just do a little bit of this, um, just like a third of my glass, and then top the rest off with water. This is just like a nice refreshing drink to get me through. Sometimes I'll do a protein shake if I'm really hungry, but then 
baby goes down for a nap around 11 so I make my lunch shortly after that today I just decided to do a big veggie plate with crackers so again whatever veggies I have on hand this plate ends up looking like it's made for like two or three people um, and I didn't totally finish it but I did eat most of it so anyway yeah I just did a huge helping of crackers with hummus and some watermelon and it was really really good then around 2 o'clock is when the baby usually wakes up from his nap um, and then we like to go outside and play so he'll have lunch really quick and I'll have a snack. This is what I had today. This s'mores Luna bar is so good and it has 8 grams of protein so it's pretty filling and then I just had some purple grapes on the side. So shortly after that I was hungry again so I had a couple handfuls of cashews and then around 5.30 we started making dinner. So this night we were actually having um, like a little cookout because it was so it was so nice out this day so we decided to have a little cookout and eat outside. So I made this pasta salad. I just had leftover wheat pasta in the fridge so I threw that in a bowl and then I cut up some veggies. We had some pepper, cucumber, um, I think we had some scallions and then you just put some mayo in there. It's not like the healthiest salad, but it's delicious. Oh, also I add canned chicken as well. You can do tuna, um, peas are really, really good in a salad like this. I would usually do like a red pepper just for some coloring or whatever, but yeah, I just throw kind of whatever we have in there and then some mayo. I actually use the olive oil mayo. It's a little bit healthier for you. I actually love Safflower, um, safflower mayo, is that what it's called? That's really, really good, but just where the grocery stores have been limited lately, we have regular mayo. So yeah, I did garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then we also had a Caesar salad as well, um, except for we used this Vidalia onion vinaigrette dressing, which was unreal, it was so good, and we added chicken as well. So this was my dinner, and a little random pork on the side was pork sausage from a local farm. And every single night around 8.30, I am hungry before bed. So I'm just having a homemade pumpkin muffin. I'll leave the recipe down below. And then some yogurt. We usually get low fat, but Kyle accidentally bought whole milk when he was at the store. So just having a little bit of that. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.